A Prayer of Protection Our God is a God who protects his people. Just as a father protects his children, our Heavenly Father protects us, his children. Our God is a God with a multitude of resources, and one of his resources to protect his people is angels. Angels are to protect God's people, but the angels of God are strategically placed to fight these battles for us. As believers, we have the responsibility to continually intercede for ourselves, loved ones, the Church of God, and our nation and the world. We have the opportunity to enjoy divine protection provided by our Father who is in heaven, because we are His, and we must not engage in anything that can make His banner of protection to lift over us. By praying to God, we can ask Him for protection. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you, Father, for your protection over my life. I have gotten this far in my life not because I am wise, not because of my own strength or my own might, but simply through your goodness. Father, you are a good God. Father, you are a great God, and I thank you for that. If the truth be told, Lord, you have been better to me than I have been to you. You have been more faithful to me than I have been to you. And for that I thank you, and I continue to exalt you. You alone, Lord, are worthy of all praise and adoration. Thank you for your shield of protection over me and my family. I appreciate you because you have not allowed the enemy, the devil, to have his way in my life. The Bible tells us what the enemy comes to do in my life in John 10 verse 10. It states, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I pray, Father, that you may protect me, so that thief will not be able to steal anything from me that he will not be able to steal my joy, or my peace, or my health, or my happiness, or my finances, or my loved ones in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray and ask you for your protection, that he may not be able to accomplish his object to kill and destroy anything in my life in the name of Jesus. Your word in John 10 verse 10 continues to say, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I ask that I may have the life that you speak of in this verse. I know that all life flows from Jesus Christ because he is the living one. He is the one that liveth and was dead. And behold, he is alive forevermore. Amen. And has the keys of hell and death. Let your name be praised forever. Lord God, you instruct me to abide in you. I make a commitment today to do my best to ensure that I abide in you. Because that is the safest place for me to be. In Christ. In you. Father, if there is any sin that will cause your protection to be lifted over me and my loved ones, Lord, I ask you that you will have mercy upon us. Forgive us for any time we have done anything which does not please you. Let the blood of Christ wash away every impediment on our way to enjoying your protection. Forgive us for every sin and iniquity, O Lord. Do not let the devil cast sorrow and anguish into my life and household. Lord, your word says in Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12, For he will give his angels charge concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up 
in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. Lord, I pray, let your angels surround my household and protect us from every danger. As I travel today and every day, I ask that your holy angels may watch over me and protect me from dangers that I see, and even those that I do not see. Not just for myself, Lord, but also for my loved ones. I ask that your hand of protection may be in their life, wherever they may go. I cannot go everywhere with them, but you, holy angels, can, and your loving eye can watch over them. The danger we know of, or the ones we are not aware of, Lord, let your angels constantly protect us from all evil. I pray for every member of my family and extended loved ones that wherever they go, the presence of your angel will keep evil away from them. I pray and ask that they are shielded from the attacks of the enemy in Jesus' name. Father, I ask according to your word, Psalm 34 verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. I pray that your angels will encamp around my home in the name of Jesus. I pray that the fear of the Lord will continue to grow in my life and in the life of my loved ones. I pray that we may have a reverential fear of the Lord, to respect who you truly are, and that is the Almighty God, the Ancient of Days, the Most High. Protect me from evil forces that may want to torment in my body soul and spirit. Restore the joy of salvation in me, O Lord my God. I pray for the protection of my substances and my finances. Rebuke the devourer of my substances, Lord. Lord, I pray, according to your word in Psalm 91 verse 2, it says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Lord, I pray that you will always be my refuge and my fortress at all times in Jesus' name. Father God, I don't trust in myself, neither do I trust in my own resources or in my own power or my own might. I don't trust in my bank account or in my wisdom. I don't trust in a man or a woman or in a political system. I place my trust in you completely, Lord. I rest in you, and you, and you alone, because you have never failed me. Father God, I know we live in a world full of troubles and problems, but according to your word, help me to uphold my faith in you in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord Jesus, that I may always trust in your name, for your word says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower where the righteous run to. Thank you for being my fortress. Thank you for being my strength. I know, Lord, that as long as I continue to have you as my fortress, I am more than a conqueror. Continue, Father, to be there for me. For if you, O Lord, be there for me, no one, can be against me. I pray unto you, O God, and ask that you may always deliver me from every attack of the enemy in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 3 says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Thank you for being my deliverer. Thank you for your promise of protection that is in your word. For I know, Father, that your word does not return to you void, but it will accomplish what you have sent it to perform in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I therefore rejoice because I know you will keep me safe always from every danger that lurks in the dark. In the name of Jesus. For Jehovah is our shield. We shall not be shaken. We are rooted and ground in God's word. His word serves as a sword that destroys every dart of the enemy. The enemy shall not stand, neither will his scheme prevail. When the enemy is coming, like a roaring water, the Lord shall rise a standard against them. I and my household are for the Lord. Therefore, evil shall not prevail in our lives. I ask that the precious blood of Jesus gives my family and me perfect spiritual, mental and physical protection from what may hurt us in any form or shape. In the name of Jesus, no man shall be against me as I step out today in Jesus' name. No evil force shall be against me today, for God is with me in the name of Jesus. I step into my day with the unbeatable protection of God in Jesus' name, for I know that I am more than conqueror through the love of Jesus. Glory to your name. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen.